Main Street Pleistocene. So this was done in acrylic, acrylic on a board. I have to give Kevin Bixby some credit for it. He had the idea of mixing extinct local species with living species, namely us. So I turned that into this Main Street Pleistocene. So there was a, a lovely couple I would always see over at uh, International Delights. I got them to model for me, like they were sitting at a little cafe. And we wanted to make it look like it was a window. I wanted to make it look like it was a window out into the street. But at the same time, I didn't want to paint it on the wall, so it was stuck there if they wanted to do something else with this space. So I put it on a board. And so, of course, you know, here's the, the little, the bollards and the main street and the, modern, and the new main street sign, but just took away, took away the city and restored the grasslands, the grasses that were probably growing here. I think there was buffalo grass growing here, tall grass, a long time ago. And we've got the Colombian mammoth. I think they pulled some mammoth parts even out of a landfill just down near, down near Mesquite or something. Uh, the giant ground sloth. And that, you heard about that when they were talking about the Oregon Mountain Desert Peaks Wilderness, that they found bones of a sloth in one of the caves. And I think, and a short-faced bear up there. So I just found, took some pictures at the farmer's market of folks walking along, put it all together. And of course, I like to work, I don't like to do like cityscapes with a lot of buildings and cars and stuff like that. So I like to have dominant figures, so I like to have things like that and then a little bit of fun there's usually there's usually something whimsical in my work and here it's just the way that bears looking right out at you you know <laughs>